Sample final exam question number two. How many grams of calcium phosphate can be made from 170 grams of calcium chloride and an excess of sodium phosphate? There's the balanced equation. It's already balanced. We've got one number in our problem. The fact that we have excess of one reactant means that all 178 grams of calcium chloride will react. And therefore, we know exactly how many grams of this can be made. Start with the one problem, uh, the one number in the problem that you're given. Good. Remember, this is a mole to mole ratio. So we have to get to moles. You know how to do this. Oh my gosh, we keep doing it, right? Periodic table, molar mass. Molar mass again. One mole of the calcium chloride. And I already figured this out for you. 110.99 grams of calcium chloride. That's off the periodic table, right? That converts us into moles of calcium chloride. That's not the chemistry Tinkerbell, that's my cat. Now that we're at moles of calcium chloride, we can do the mole to mole ratio between what we started with and what we want to end up with. That mole ratio is one Two, three. Mole to mole ratio. I keep doing the same thing over and over again, which is nice because we can get into a good pattern for knowing what to do next. So what to do next? If we start here, we're now at moles of calcium phosphate. We want to know the grams of calcium phosphate. It's periodic table molar mass again. We just flip over the conversion factor. And I calculated this already. 310.18 grams of that calcium phosphate for every one mole. The moles cancel. We're left with grams. How many sig figs in our answer? Three here. Five here infinite here, 5 here, so the answer will be 3, and I get 166 grams, 166 grams of the calcium phosphate, if you need more practice, 7H, good luck.